Welcome to the video tutorial on how to install and use the NotePage Android SMS Gateway app. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to install NotePage's SMS Gateway app on an Android phone, and how to configure PageGate to use the phone to send and receive text messages. The first step is to go to the Google Play Store on your Android phone. Once there, search for NotePage SMS. In the search results, you should see NotePage SMS Gateway. Select that option. When presented with the NotePage SMS Gateway app screen, select Install. You'll then be prompted with a screen that explains what the SMS Gateway app will need access to on the phone. Select Accept. After the app has been downloaded and installed, you should have an icon for it on your smartphone. Select the app to open it. The app will automatically start itself, but it can be stopped at any time by pressing the Stop button. Once you're in the app, you'll want to select the Menu button on your phone and select Unlock. This will take you through the purchasing process for the app and will unlock the app when complete. Now that we're in the app, there are a few things we'll want to make note of. First, the settings of the app cannot be modified while the app is running. For example, if we want to modify the port to connect to, We'll first need to stop the app, then edit the port, and start the app again. Next, let's have a look at the program settings. To get to the settings, press the menu button on your phone and select Settings. In Settings, you'll see the following options. Enabling Don't Retry Messages tells the app that if it has trouble delivering a message, it should not retry the delivery attempt. Enabling Enable Replies tells the app that you're going to check for reply messages as well as sending text messages. If you want the ability to receive replies to your text messages, this must be enabled. Once it's enabled, you'll have three options. Only Online will only read replies that are received while the app is running and connected. Unread Offline will read any unread messages that the phone received while the app was not running. All Offline will collect all reply messages, whether they were received while the app was running or not. Enabling Start on Boot tells the app to start as soon as you turn their phone on. We do recommend enabling this. And last, we have SMS Limit Extender Services. Installing the SMS Limit Extender Services will enable multiple background services the app can use to send and receive SMS. This isn't required for low-volume environments, but is definitely recommended for higher-volume environments. So, now that we have the app installed and configured, there are two bits of information we'll need to configure this in PageGate. First, we'll need the IP address referenced by the app, and second, we'll need the port to connect to. Once you have this information, open the PageGate admin. Right-click Carriers, and select Add. Give the carrier a name. Set the protocol to GSMAT IP. Set the host to the IP of the Android Gateway app. Set the port field to the port required by the Android Gateway app. With regards to the init string field, typically speaking you can leave this blank. However, the command AT plus CSQ will check the signal quality of your phone's connection. If we put AT plus CSQ in the init string field, that will give you a record of the signal strength on your phone before it sends the messages. Set the max characters field to 160. Click Apply. This concludes the video tutorial on how to install configure and use NotePage's Android SMS Gateway app with PageGate. For more information, including how to configure PageGate to send text messages with a cellular modem, router, or gateway, please visit our website, www.notepage.net.